There's little point closing the back doors of this van. It's stopping frequently, picking up those who didn't survive Russia's brief occupation of Bucha. Each person is photographed. Where possible, ID is checked. And where necessary, bindings are removed. Their clothes, their belongings, and in some cases, their restraints, all indicate these people were a threat to no one in the moments before they were killed. In normal times, Vladislav Minchenka is a painter. Now he collects bodies. This one was carrying potatoes, he says. You can see they're all civilians, and snipers shot them all in the head. This is how they were having fun. <laughs> Tetyana Volodmirivna weeps beside her husband's shallow grave. She says he was taken from their home and weeks later found in a basement, tortured, mutilated, shot in the head. Ukraine's defense ministry released this video of another basement in Bucha. A CNN team visited the site and saw five dead men. Their hands were tied. Most were shot in the head and legs. President Zelensky came to Bucha and walked its streets, saying, it's very difficult to negotiate with Russia when you see what they have done here. Ukraine says it will investigate Russia's war crimes. The European Union says it will help. No need, says Russia, because all of this has been staged. A resident says this equally sincere message was scribbled with lipstick in a butcher home by a Russian soldier. Thanks for the warm welcome, it says. Sorry about the mess. Russia's mess. The extraordinary suffering, death and trauma inflicted during just a few weeks of occupation is only starting to be understood. For those who live through it, it's unlikely to ever be forgiven. Uh, Dimitro, you, you toured Bucha yesterday, ravaged Bucha. Tell us what you saw. Tell us your reaction to seeing these brutalities up close. Uh, it was amazing. I have never seen such many civilians killed civilians uh, like in Bucha yesterday. Uh, it's not normal and everybody and the whole world can see that uh, in Ukraine every day Russian army uh, kills uh, hundreds, hundreds of civilian people because they could not take our cities, they could not take our hearts, uh, our freedom. So they begin uh, the genocide of our people. And our people, not I mean nation, only Ukrainians, no. In our country, we have hundreds of nations. Everybody uh, now fighting for the freedom of Ukraine. Uh, everybody from, uh, if you are uh, Orthodox, Catholic, Islamic, uh, Jewish, we have everybody of such people and they are fighting for independence of Ukraine. Uh, Russian president cannot imagine an independent Ukraine because he thinks that the biggest problem in 20th century was uh, the destroying and collapse of USSR. Uh, he wants to restore uh, Soviet Union to zero. Yes, today we have a hard situation uh, in our country, and uh, you need to understand, you need to be, your country, the West world, need to be more active, every day more active, because the uh, one day of do nothing is the hundred of uh, civilian kills in our country and near yeah. the capital of Ukraine, Dimitro, 10 kilometers from center. Dimitro, do you think that as Russian forces retreat and regroup more and other uh, Ukrainian cities are liberated, that you're going to find more evidence of mass graves, of atrocities such as what we witnessed in Bucha? Um, no, first of all, uh, we, I could not understand what want to do the Russian army 100%, but uh, I understand that uh, they don't take what they want. They want Kiev in three days. Uh, they could not see Kiev in three days. So today they are going from Kiev, but will go to east of Ukraine. And uh, it will be the hard time for other biggest cities of, of Ukraine, Kharkiv, uh, Odessa, Nikolaev, uh, you know what the hard situation is in uh, Mariupol, also know, everybody know, the whole world know. So, uh, uh, of course, if the war will continue, uh, we will see thousands, thousands of 
kills of civilian because Russian army could not take by themselves uh, by politically take our cities because our people want to be Ukrainians and want to be free. I know what I am telling you because yeah. native I'm from Sevastopol, from Crimea. It's the second time when I have such situation in my life. Until uh, 2014, I was living in Sevastopol and I see such things. Now we see it in the whole of Ukraine. And so everybody needs to understand that Ukrainian staying is not only about their country and their freedom. Ukraine staying uh, the shield, the shield of the new Nazi uh, Russian Federation and the new Hitler Putin, uh, help us to stop them because it's not our war, only our war. It's the war of all West yeah. World too.